Good day, students. Welcome again to today's talk, uh, lesson. I hope you've been enjoying yourself. Today, we are going to have lesson on business studies. Remember, this topic we are doing now is your is part of your third term scheme. And this lesson focuses on JS1 students. In that case, pay attention. I need your undivided attention. The topic we are going to have today is introduction to keyboarding. Remember that keyboarding is a component. It's an important component of business studies. We've learned the office practice. We've learned the commerce. We've learned the office procedure. Today, we are going to look at keyboarding as an important aspect or component of business studies. This topic involves practical. It involves practicals. So if you have your laptop, at, at the end of this lesson, you can practicalize it. But for now, let us introduce the topic. So introduction to keyboarding. Get your notebook and your pen around you because you are going to write and get yourself focused. Concentrate and get yourself focused. At the end of this lesson, I want you to explain the meaning of keyboarding. Mention the importance of keyboarding. Demonstrate the correct posture for keyboarding. Mention and explain at least five major parts of the typewriter. Now, let us move ahead. Meaning of keyboarding. Keyboarding is the art of manipulating the computer or the typewriter keyboard to produce information using the alphabets, numeric and standard function keys. Keyboarding is the art of manipulating the computer or typewriter keyboard to produce information using the alphabets, numeric and standard function keys. Keyboarding is used to type companies' official letters and other documents. So whenever you want to send your mail, you keyboard it. So that's why I said the knowledge of keyboarding is very important. Nowadays, you can't write your application when you are looking for work manually and send it to the organization. Some organization will just pick it and fling it away. So you better keyboard it. So the skill of keyboarding is very important. So you can either use typewriter or you use the computer. Since you are using the keyboard, not the musical keyboard. Though. So that's why I specified it, telling you that it's the computer keyboard or the typewriter keyboard. You are using it to type your document. Almost every profession, such as banking, Accounting, engineering, nursing, publishing, etc. requires the use of keyboarding skills. Now, importance of keyboarding. Keyboarding allows neat and attractive documents to be produced as quickly as possible. If I may ask you now, if you bring up your textbook and bring up your notebook or another person's notebook, which one will you like to read? Which of them will you like to read? Which of them will you like to scan through? You will answer the textbook because it is very, very neat and attractive. As you can see, our handwriting differs. So once you get another person's handwriting, it might be difficult for you to see clearly. But once that thing is keyboarded, it is typed, it will be very neat and attractive. Keyboarding helps to send electronic communication across the world. 
keyboard makes it possible to save and retrieve information. You can retrieve information anytime, any day, even with your from your computer. Keyboarding facilitates research and provides employment opportunities to millions of people. Have you seen it? Keyboarding is very important. If you know how to keyboard very well, you can open up a business center. You can open up a business center to type documents for people and you receive the money. So the skill is very, very important. In order to keyboard accurately and efficiently, the following step can be taken to maintain a correct sitting posture. See, when you want to keyboard, you don't sit anyhow. You have some correct sitting posture for keyboarding. One, you will sit uprightly. Sit uprightly and in a central position. Your feet should be flat on the floor with one foot slightly ahead of or the other. Your shoulder should be head back. Your elbow slightly slope forward from the hips. You should relax your arms and elbow. Ensure your wrist and hand are straight. Cover your fingers on the keyboard as if you want to grab a handle bar. Only the tips of your fingers touching the keys. Keep your eyes on the manuscript, that is the document you want to type and not on the keyboard. These are the correct sitting posture. Now let us look at the typewriter. Remember we said the use of the typewriter and computer or computer keyboard. Now let's look at the typewriter. Today we are going to concentrate on the typewriter. Next other time we look at the computer, but today typewriter is our main topic. Then the typewriter. A typewriter is the machine that enables the typist to reproduce handwritten documents in a neat, clear, and standard form, easy to handle and preserve. If I will say again, when you bring up your notebook, bring up a right, uh, keyboarded, a print test, printed test, or a typed test, type matter. Let me say, Pour oil or water on, it, on each of them and see what the outcome will be. You will see that once the two of them get dried, you will see still that that one that has been typed will remain there, will be clear. The one that is manually written, the ink will spill, the ink will pour. So the ink will start coming out, smearing over the paper. So that is to say. Another one, our handwriting differs. Some people are writing their why, I don't know, as a flower that is sprouting out from the root. Some are writing their W as if they are writing zero. So with a typewriter, you make everything neat and clear. And all of them will be in a standard form. That is a uniform way. And it will be very easy to handle and to preserve. There are two basic types of typewriter. We have the electric typewriter and the manual typewriter. These typewriters serve similar purposes, except that the electric typewriter uses electricity while the manual typewriter does not. The operation of it depends on the typist. There are two distinct typefaces on typewriter. That is what we call font size, font size in computer. So how the print look, we have them that are very tiny. Then basically we have two typefaces on the typewriter, the picker and the elite. The picker typeface is bold character or print, which occupies 10 strokes on one inch of paper, while the elite is a tiny or smaller print, which occupies 12 strokes on one inch of paper. Now, major parts of the typewriter. Carriage. Carriage is the upper part of the typewriter, which goes from left to right when a key is struck or spacebar. You see the typewriter. When you strike a key, any key or the spacebar, you see the top part of the typewriter moving, moving from the left to right. Or you want it to move from right to left, whichever one. So the upper part is the carriage. We have the space bar. The space bar is a flat rectangular key at the base of the keyboard used to give space in between letters or words. 
it is struck with the right thumb. Look at my right thumb. That is the finger you're using uh, striking this. Keyboard itself, this is made up of four rows, each containing 12 keys. If you look at typewriter, keyboard, it has four, ro four rows. Then the platinum knob. Platinum knob is a roller in the middle of the machine where paper revolves. You know, you first of all insert your paper when you want to type. Then that is the place the paper will reverse as you are typing. It means that the paper will be moving around it. That is the platinum of the cylinder. Carriage return lever. This is the part of the typewriter which does dual work of returning the carriage as well as giving required space. You can use the carriage return lever. It is just a handle at the left hand side of the uh, carriage. That's why the upper part. When you want to, it does two things. Returning the carriage. When you write to the end of the line, you want to go back to another one, a fresh line. You use the carriage return lever. You return the carriage. We will still practicalize it. But if you have your typewriter at home, please observe this thing that we are saying now. The sixth one is carriage release lever. This is a mechanism that enables the carriage to move freely from left to right. There is a button at the base of the typewriter. When you press it, you will see how swiftly the carriage will run from left to right. When you press that key, you will see the carriage will run very fast. So that is called the carriage. You are using it to release the carriage. If the carriage wants to be stiff, you use it to release it. Paper release lever is a mechanism found on the right top. Look at your right here. On the right top of the Carrier used to insert paper into the machine. Whenever you want to insert paper into the machine, you first of all push this thing forward. Then the roller will disengage from the platen. Then you insert your paper. We will practicalize all this. But you have your typewriter, practicalize it at home. Line space regulator is an adjustable mechanism that controls the distance between lines. Then we have other parts, such as ribbon, tie basket, margin release lever, margin stops, tabular mechanism, uh, shift key, Margin bear. Because of our time, we are not going to go into them. But in your notes, in your notebook, not in a piece of paper, not assignment, but a project, you are going to briefly write on these parts. You will see it is in your project. So this typewriter, you can take care of it, you know. Without you taking care of it, you know that you will not, as the typist, type effectively, as well as you, the lifespan of the machine. The lifespan of the machine will not be prolonged. But for you to take care of the machine, you ought to service it and maintain it regularly. Chima. Chima, one for. Mention. Two parts of the typewriter machine. Give us two, for, uh, two parts of the typewriter machine. That's good, that's good. Sandra, okay, okay. Sandra, okay, okay. What is keyboarding? Okay, okay. You tried. Then Destiny. What is the difference between Pika, Typeface, and Elite? Okay. Yes. That's why I say you should get yourself focused. Though. Don't get yourself distracted, though. Because you'll be assessed in all this we are doing. Now, for you to take care of your, prolong the lifespan of your machine, Proper maintenance and regular servicing is necessary in order to prolong the lifespan of the machine and to function for it to function very well. The following steps are the following are the steps to be taken. One, carefully remove dust from the working pass with a long brush. With your brush, once you come as a typist, come in the morning for your work, for your day's activity, you use your long brush to remove dust from all the working. Pass of the typewriter. 
Remove the dirty oil from the carriage rails. That place the carriage is moving is called the carriage rail. So you remove everything. Use methylated spirit occasionally to clean the tie basket. You know, the tie basket is where all the keys are fixed in a metal form. Whenever you strike a key, the, uh, the alphabet or the letter will rise from the, the tie basket and strike on the paper inserted. Always use a uh, methylated spirit to do that. You know, you can go to the patent shop dealers to get your methylated spirit. Yes. Then rub all bright parts with a clean duster. Lastly, load the carriage whenever you want to carry the typewriter. Don't carry it from the uh, carriage. Always carry from the base when you have already logged the typewriter. Now, see your project. So, like I told you that you have a project. In your notebook, briefly explain these parts. In your note, just write it in your note. Not the assignment that you sent to me, but the one that should be in your note. One, ribbon. Two, tie basket. Three, margin release lever. Four, margin stops. Five, tabla key. Six, shift lock, shift key. So this one is your assignment. Look at your assignment. Define keyboarding. Another way around, what is keyboarding? Set three importance of keyboarding. Identify any four correct sitting posture for keyboarding. I've said that I mentioned any five major parts of the typewriter. For those of you that will write your assignment and give it to another person to copy, I will not tolerate it anymore. I know the assignment that I've been marking, some of you have been exchanging your assignment. Do your own assignment. You have your textbook there with you. Go on, do your assignment, and don't joke with it. Because it's part of the assess assessment. The assessment for the third term. For the third term results. We are able to define keyboarding. We were able to state the importance of keyboarding. We were able to state the use of the typewriter in keyboarding. We stated the major parts of the typewriter, the ones that you always touch. Every time you are writing, every time you are typing, you always touch them. So that is the major part. Then we are able to state the correct sitting position or correct sitting posture for keyboard. You don't just sit anyhow when you are keyboarding. You have a posture, a correct sitting position. You have a way to sit. We stated them. Then we are able to state the care of the typewriter. Thank you. Next time we look at the computer. Remember that computer is also used when you are keyboarding. Stay home, stay safe. Always wash your hands, please. To God be the glory that the pandemic will leave us in no distant time. God bless you. Thank you. Bye-bye.